Yo, what's up YouTube? So, today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the error code. Let me pull it up right now. On Cold War, this error code, it's been bugging me for weeks. I've tried everything the internet has to offer and I just couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. I'm not going to go through, you know, all the basics. You guys probably already checked your, uh, if you have any Windows updates, you guys probably already uh, checked your um, your graphics, you know, you, if you have a um, NVIDIA card, then you probably already updated the graphics card and the video card, you know, uh, or an AMD, you know, you guys probably already did that. Um, you guys probably already updated your BIOS, you know. Um, if you have been NVIDIA, you're going to download Armory, uh, Armory Crate. And from here, you could update the BIOS uh as easy you don't have to like get a flash drive and then like do the flash that like you know that weird flash whatever yeah, j just do it through um i think it's here yeah d just do it download armory crate and then do it through here it it's gonna do it everything for you see the bios yeah so yeah so you guys probably did the windows update you guys probably already uh, upgraded your video card, you know, and then probably, uh, probably, or your AMD, you guys probably already scanned your computer for any registries, um, through the console, and what I mean by that, if you press on your search, press command, uh, prompt, and then open up as a administrator, and then press SFC forward slash scan now, and that's gonna just scan your computer for any broken registries and if you've done all that and it still doesn't work then what you're gonna do um well this is uh, this is this is what i figured out why it wasn't working and the reason why was because i had the game installed in two different drivers so oh uh, wait let me minimize my camera real quick Yep, I should have done that from the beginning. Nice. So, the, the I, I had to get, I had the Cold War installed twice, one in my D drive, which is the extra SSD, and then one in my um um this is a hard drive, yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it, it is. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, I had one installed in my um. In my hard drive, and then other installed in my SSD. So I I I went in I I went in on my local app data, and I erased anything that that has to do with Activision or Battle.net. So I deleted this folder. I'm not gonna delete it now because it it works. But you're, you're gonna delete this file, then go back. Oh, also Blizzard Entertainment. Not but, but leave this one alone. Just this, because this one has to do with the cache files for Blizzard. So, and then you're gonna go back to App Data, then go to Roaming, and do the same thing. Look for Battle.net and delete that one too. And then make sure it's actually deleted, because it's gonna go to your recycling bin. And then you're gonna delete anything that's duplicated with Cold War. If you have installed twice, delete the original and the duplicated, and then reinstall it after. If uh if not, then go into your search bar and search up anything that has to do with Cold War. Cause sometimes when you do delete Cold War, sometimes the Cold War is still installed, but it's installed as an app, like as a startup menu type. If that makes sense. Um. So make sure you delete just anything that's duplicated, and then just go ahead restart. Your computer and then reinstall it again on a single hard drive because I, I i that it's, it's pretty funny how having a duplicated game just messes everything up but um i had the same issue with um with splitgate like for some reason the unreal engine kept on crashing and i know i didn't have a bad I, I know i don't have a bad graphic card because i have a uh the the EVGA 3070 
and I was wondering why I just couldn't run a like split gate, but I could run Fortnite or whatever, which is really weird. Like, but I guess having Cold War installed twice messed up with split gate because after I downloaded the, I mean, after I updated the BIOS to the new firmware and I installed all the like add-ons, I guess, like the RAM cache and game first VI, it it, it worked. It, it was so weird. So hopefully that helps you guys, you know, but make sure you guys have everything updated to your motherboard, to your, your, uh, your, the, the new BIOS, make sure you don't have any updates and update. And it, it, even if you don't, but you have those optional ones, just go ahead and do so. Um, but if you see that, that the optional update is causing problems, then you could go back into the recovery mode and then, um, then start up with, uh, uh, what, what, like, what do you call it? Like, uh, like go, like go, like a, like a, like it, on, on Mac, it was called, um, a flashback or something or, or time machine. That, no, it was called Time Machine. I don't know what it's called on Windows, but you could go back to a certain point in time where uh, where you didn't have that option to update. But make sure you have everything already updated. Because I know a lot of people, like, even, like, if, if you, like, download, uh, um, um, what is it called, driver? This, uh, dr driver easy, there you go. Make sure you have driver easy, too, like, this app is going to help you a lot with finding what drivers you don't have and the drivers that you need. Although, you do need to pay for it, but it's it's worth it. Because cause there's a lot of things that I didn't know that I needed. And also CC Cleaner, you know, it came in clutch. And it's not like just a, a random um the cleaner application because this also helps with okay thank you welcome back this also helps with um any like broken registries because it's going to scan through your computer and it's going to um tell you which one see for um mw invalid default icon uh split gate pass issues you know and this is free it's pretty cool. So just download that, search for any broken registries, then review them and then fix them, restart your computer, and then, you know, but hopefully that that works for you guys because it, it, it worked for me. So probably it would work for you, you know, um, but go ahead and give it a try. And I'll see you guys in the never again video because I don't make enough videos to be to make a daily upload so later